screencast. My name is Zan Ta, and I work for Report Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch this. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the model text command. The model text command is located in the architecture tab of the ribbon, model panel, model text command. The model text command is a feature that allows you to create three-dimensional text, such as signage on the face of a wall or part of your ribbon model. For example, we'll create a wall, and we want to place three-dimensional model text on the north face of this wall. We can either create a reference plane to place that model text on it or pick the face of that plane. Let's start by going to the elevation. Here I have the elevation. If I start the model text command, it will ask me what work plane do I want to work off of. I can either use a plane that I've already created or pick a plane. In this instance, I'll go ahead and pick the wall as the plane. It brings up the edit text window, and in here I can put in whatever I want. So I'm going to put in here Autodesk Screencast 2015 and hit OK. And now I can place it on the face of that wall. After I've placed it, I can select it and go to the instance property. And you can take a look and see all of your different options. For example, you have model text 24 inch aerial is the text uh, type, model text type. We can go into the type properties window and we can change the font, we can change the text size, we can make it bold, italic, whatever we want. We can change the material as well. <coughs> So I'll go inside the material dialog box. And we'll change it to some material. Let's say, for example, brass. And if we don't have brass in our material dialog box uh, in the current Revit project, we do have it in the library. So we'll expand this. And we'll just place this one here. We also have the ability to specify the thickness, so I'll go ahead and put it say 3 inches. And when you're finished, if you take a look at it in 3D, there's your 3D model text on the wall. If you switch it to realistic, this is what it looks like. Now, the 3D model text is on the face of that wall. If the wall moves, the 3D model text goes with it because it's hosted by it. Now if I go in here and I create a new reference plane, and just place the reference plane here, for example, and go to this elevation, and I can create a new model text off of the plane that I drew. Oh, sorry. Let's go back and give our reference plane a name. Select it, give it a name. Now, when we're in the elevation, we can create that 3D model text off of the main plane that we created. And again, it'll ask us. And this time, we'll just place it. The reason we do this is to help you understand that the 3D model text is hosted by the that it's sitting on. In this example here, the plane is vertically drawn in plan view. If I take this and move this plane, and look at it again in 3D, you'll see the 3D model text has also moved as well. So this is the model text command in Autodesk Revit. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.